Hello, welcome back to my channel everyone. This is CY. Um, if you're your first time joining me, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. Um, so today, right, um, I'm going to do a comparison of the filtered coffee taste between the uh, Nice Zero, right, the DF64, which is this one. The, um, this is actually the chameleon color. Uh, I re-wrap it with a chameleon color carbon fiber uh, sticker wrap. Right, it's actually a kind of vinyl, right? And this one comes with a standard Ita Mail, uh, standard silver, right? And the one in the DF64 in yellow, right? I have already installed the uh, uh, SSB rate speed coated uh, uh, multi purpose burr set, right? So I have already done uh, all the adjustment, all the alignment. So both of these grinders are 100% aligned, right? So I'm going to just do a quick comparison. Um, basically, I'm actually comparing between the two DF, right? Uh, the niche is actually here just to be a benchmark so that we know uh, whether the standard is actually quite similar, right? Between all the three grinders, right? And uh, we are particularly interested in these two, right? Because we want to taste whether the SSB uh, will actually enhance the flavor uh, for filtered coffee, right? And I have also already adjusted all the grind size to be very similar to each other. Right, so that you will not uh, uh, make our video too long for you to watch so let's get to it right so this is going to be the uh, procedure for us for us to compare the three grinders for today right i will first uh, weigh about 10 gram of coffee uh, coffee beans uh, and i'll grind out the coffee beans uh, and in and i'm going to run uh, i'm going to use the v60 style and uh, I'm going to just use the uh, uh, bleach paper, right? Because I'm run out of unbleached paper. So the process is going to be repeated. I'm, I'm going to do it as quickly as possible so that the temperature will not be too far off from each other, right? I will drink the coffee when it's slightly uh, cooled down uh, so that I can get the uh, actual taste profile of the coffee made by these three grinders, right? And uh, I'm, I will be, okay, this will be the part one of the comparison of the filter coffee taste uh, because I intend to compare it with uh, my manual grinder, right? As you can see in the um, pictures, right? I, I have three grinders for comparison, which is namely the Comandante, the Easy Press Soul K Pro, and the Mill Right Hand Grinder from San Anthony. So I'm also going to compare that three. Right, that will be in the part two of the video series of the filter coffee taste comparison and finally the, the part three of the video i'm going to do a cross comparison to see whether our uh, my manual hand grinder can actually uh, set up to the three grinders uh, the electric grinders over there and uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to see whether um, the taste uh, can be matched up right so let's get to it Right, so for today's uh, comparison, I'm going to use the coffee beans from Yunnan, right, and the coffee beans actually uh, roasted by myself, right, uh, it's actually the, uh, these are the coffee beans that has been a natural process, so it actually smells very much similar to the fermented uh, uh, coffee bean that I have roasted uh, previously, which is actually the geisha, right, so yeah, it smells very, very similar, it has the fermented smell, right, and this is actually the best test because um, I can actually see whether it can actually bring out the fruitiness, uh, less acidic and sweetness in the coffee and I also want to see uh, the grinder can actually give me a very uh, a, a cup that's uh, of high clarity and less muddiness, right? So this is what we're going to try to compare today. So let's just quickly measure um, 10 grams of uh, coffee bean each. Right, maybe next time I should do this beforehand right, so that you don't have to go through this process of me weighing the coffee beans but you, as you know uh, I, I try to do a less uh, video editing as possible to let you see uh, what's actually going on so this is actually the uh, my preferred style of uh, uh, my YouTube channel right instead of doing all the editing and show you all the beautiful stuff right please bear with me uh, to watch all the boring stuff together right so this is actually 10 grams right 10 grams as well
right that's exactly 10 gram too so let's keep this aside right so let's start with the grinding from the niche Right, I've, I've also purchased this. Right, so that's 10 gram. You can see the... There's a bit of clump, right? From the uh, coffee grinded by niche. Right, you can see there's a big clump there. Not too sure you can see that. Right, so let's look at the DF. So this is the second one. Okay, the reason I'm transferring is because I, I, I didn't take out uh, the third card, the second card for this one. So I'm just gonna do it here. So this is actually the standard standard Itamil. Right, so the grind has been completed on all three grinders. Right, so now let's proceed to uh, to brew the coffee. So let's get to it. it quickly right I'll first uh, make the coffee from the DF64 with uh, standard Itamil burr I'll be using one is to 15 ratio So let me bring it closer. I'll just do a uh, thirty seconds for it to uh, bloom, and then I'll pour all the way on until one hundred fifty grams of water. Right, that's 150 grams. Right, so while letting the uh, water to drip through, right, let's get ready for the second one.
Alright, so this is actually the uh, coffee grinded from the standard Ita meal. Alright, so drone down takes about 1 minute and 40 seconds to be uh, around there to complete. Alright, so let me throw this away quickly. Alright, let's move on to the second one. Let's give it a quick rinse. Right, the second one will be from the um, DF64 that comes with the SSB burr. Uh, this is actually the multi purpose burr set. Just give a quick rinse. Right, let's wait for about 30 seconds. The coffee has been roasted about two weeks ago. So it's still pretty fresh. Just go all, all the way until it uh, reaches 150 grams of water. Okay. So just now the drawn down was about 1 minute 30 seconds. Alright, let's look at it. It's almost there. Alright, so it's pretty much the same, right? So that is actually the coffee grinded from the DF64 that comes with the standard, oh, sorry, the SSP multi purpose well set. So, again, let's get rid of this. And then let's move on. Right, let's rinse the paper again. Okay, let me put this at the side. Let's do the same. Right, let's wait for about 30 seconds. Okay, this spot, there's not much water touching it. Right, so it's again, so I'm just going to fill. All the way until it's 150. That's about a minute.
right so it's about 1 minute 30 seconds on the niche as well right so uh, the coffee has been completed okay let's move on to the tasting right so all the three cups of coffee has been made so let's move on to the tasting right, obviously the one with the niche is going to be the hottest right let me get rid of the scale this is from the uh, SS paper and this is actually from the Ita mail right so I'm also going to get myself a cup of water right so I can cleanse my palate Right, but this is extremely hot let me get some cold water right i'll be right back all right so let's move on to the first one right this is actually from the uh, uh, standard guitar mail stainless steel burr set uh, the smell is very fermenty right um, i can smell the fermentation there um, smells really good even though the coffee has cooled down a bit. Right, let's move on to the one with the SSP burr set. Mm. Okay, definitely this is slightly warmer than the SS uh the standard silver, but I can smell that the intensity of the aroma of the fermented coffee bean is, is, is more intense, it's stronger as compared to the one on the stainless steel. Yep, definitely it's more intense. Right, okay, so let's move on to the one uh, that's grinded by the niche zero. This is the hottest. The smell is different. In the two cups from the flat burr, right, I can smell uh, the more fermenty smell. Right, um, it is the ferment, the smell of the fermentation is more intense. Whereas from the niche, it smells good too, but I think the smell of the fermented bean is slightly on the lighter side. It is more floral rather than uh, the actual fermented smell from the bean. Yep, it definitely smells very different. Right, this is more of a fermented. The, the smell that I, uh, that I get from the geisha is this kind of smell, right? Uh, the fermented uh, coffee bean smell. Whereas uh, in the niche, it has a lighter fermented smell and it has a stronger uh, floral smell. It smells really good too. Right, so let's go on to try to taste the coffee. Right, again, this is actually from the stainless steel uh, Itami Bro set. Mm, it's very intense. There's no acidity at all. It's, it's sweet that's quite a good body uh, drink right let's move on to uh, the SSP bro set okay let me rinse my mouth This one has a much better clarity as compared to this one. This is much clearer. Uh, it has less muddiness as compared to this. Um, let me taste that again. The sweetness is almost on par. But the clarity is there, right? This one is definitely a much clearer cup as compared to the uh, standard Itamil set, uh, bro set, right? I, I can, I can, I can, I can feel. I can, I can actually taste the uh, the texture very well. It's actually very clear. 
the taste is actually super clear, right? Uh, there's no muddiness at all, right? It's very clear. Right, let's move on to the niche. Again, the second cup there's zero acidity, right? Even though this is supposed to be a, uh, I roast the, the beans to medium, right? And I expect lesser acidity, right? Uh, okay, let's move on to the niche. Definitely acidic, right? So, um, the grind size is about the same. Um, it is on the brighter side. If I say that the acidity on this, on the scale of one to five, this is probably a one. The acidity on the niche is about three, right? And somehow, Uh, the sweetness is there, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, this one is clearer. The SSB produced a much clearer cup as compared to the niche, right? Niche is on the slightly acidic side. Uh, I would say slightly, it's actually much more acidic as compared to the one on the Flatbur SSB. Uh, the clarity on the niche is, is okay. It is it's actually a very enjoyable cup. But because of the rose profile that I've done on the on the Yunnan bit, I expect the, the taste to be less acidic. You know the niche will just bring out the brightness and the acidity in the coffee, right? Even though the other two flat uh, producers uh, no acidity at all, it's uh, sweetness and uh, and the texture is there too, right? The niche does give me a good texture too, but it is definitely definitely the taste is not as clear as the one done on the SSP, right? Of course, it is not fair to compare to two. A grinder where the SSP girl is much more um, premium in the price, so definitely you expect the SS, SSP girl to perform better. So, is it, um, is it worth upgrading? Right, I, I can tell you that the difference between the three, right, is actually very close. Right, um, definitely, if you are looking for a cup that's on higher clarity, right, um. You, you can consider SSP, right? But SSP, of course, is another about, uh, you have to add at about $300 uh, on top of the uh, standard Itamil, right? And the improvement, right, is on the clarity, right? If you're, you're gonna get a much clearer cup. Uh, the sweetness is slightly improved, right? It doesn't give you, uh, and it also gives you a slightly less aftertaste, right, as compared to the niche as well as the standard Itamil, right? Uh, the niche is going to be slightly uh, more uh, acidic and brighter as compared to the other two flat barrel grinder and that's kind of expected, expected uh, outcome so I'm actually expecting the niche to produce a much more uh, acidic cup but the acidic is actually a nice kind of acidity it's not an unpleasant kind so uh, it uh, depends on what you like right? if you like the uh, brightness and acidity of the coffee even though the coffee beans not supposed to give you a uh, uh, high acidity kind of coffee Right, um, somehow the niche just bring out the taste profile of the, the brighter side, you know, the brighter and the more acidic side of the taste profile of the coffee beans. Whereas the um, the flat burr somehow give you more of a more rounded cup, and uh, it is slightly muddy on a slightly muddiness in the first one, which is actually done on the standard Itamil, right? Uh, so whether it's a uh, it's worth upgrading, right? Personally, I think it's worth the upgrade, right? But uh, I would suggest you play around with the Itamil, right? If you can, uh, play around with the standard Itamil and you get used to the taste profile of the standard Itamil before you actually move on to the SSP. Then you can actually taste the improvement, right? And uh, during that time, you can actually consider for yourself whether uh, you, you want to spend additional uh, $300 on in upgrading the Burset to SSP. Let me tell you this, once you upgrade to the SSP, I don't think you will ever go back 
to the Itamil because the Itamil just give you a slightly more muddy cup as compared to the SSB. So uh, it is going to be a uphill. It's very hard for you to go back to the Itamil. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the Itamil actually. But if you compare the taste profile to the SSD Brosite, the SSD Brosite is definitely more superior, right? In terms of clarity and sweetness, this the and the aftertaste is uh, uh, there's lesser aftertaste as compared to the first one, right? So that will be uh, my honest opinion, right? All this grinder is my own, right? I purchased them myself, right? Uh, it's not sponsored by anyone, right? And uh, I'm just going to give you my honest review on the, the quality of the cup for filter coffee, right? Made on these three grinders, right? So stay tuned for the next episode, which I'm going to compare uh, to three manual grinders, right? Namely the Comandante, uh, the Easy Presso K Pro, as well as the Milrite, right? The Comandante is about $400, the one, uh, Easy Presso. Um, K-Pro is about $300, right? The Milrite is about $200, right? So that is the kind of price range of the three manual grinders which we're going to compare uh, in the next episode. So thank you for watching today, right? Remember to subscribe to my channels, right? Hit the like button, right? And I'll see you very soon. And thank you for watching. Stay safe.